Welcome to Carroll's Corner, brought to you by Tri-City Medical Center. Coach, we're talking about one of the most versatile quarterbacks we've seen in some time. He's been on our radar screen since being a sophomore at La Jolla Country Day and verbally committing to Arizona. We're talking about Braxton Burmeister. What do you see? Well, I see a guy that uh, uh, Arizona is going to be real pleased with because, you know, quarterbacks, let's pause it. Quarterbacks can beat you a couple of ways. One is they can beat you with their arm. He can do that. We're going to see in just a second. And two, they can beat you with their legs. The ideal would be to have a guy that can do both. He can do both. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this. And let's pause it. The separation right now, he's created all kinds of, because of his depth, away from the defensive line, he's created all of this separation and he has a lot of running lanes because the, he did not stay in the pocket right there. He's left the pocket, has created running lanes, and you're going to see all kinds of running lanes exist for him. This, put, this creates a, a, the defense uh, in a negative situation where they have to make a decision. At what point is he a running back and at what point is he uh, going to throw the football? So all these guys over here, they have to decide, am I playing pass or am I playing run and at what point do I change? So let's see him. So right now he's still a pass threat. Now we can pause, and now he's obviously committed. He's a run threat. He's now going to tuck the football away, and he's going to do what in football terms we would use break ankles, which means he's going to make hard, radical cuts that force defenders to go the opposite direction of him. And let's see what he does with these two legs right here because this is really impressive. Coach, all great ball carriers seem to have a great field of, of perception. Of field Look at of that vision. cut right there. Yeah, that, the vision's incredible. Uh, that's, that's a stick cut that he uses, and he... He makes that defender get have no chance. Okay, we're going to look at the second play, if we could, right now. Coach, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. All right, so on the second play, again, we were talking about launch points. So the, he's standing right here. Well, everybody on the defense knows where he's at. So a good team, a good quarterback, is you've got to change that launch point so that they can't load up and attack. And what they're going to do now is they're going to use the running back to lead for him, and he's going to roll out. But what I really like about what he does is the vision while he's rolling out. Let's watch him. Be ready to pause real quick because that's – and we're going to start with the sprint out. Let's go ahead and run it and pause. All right, he stops. This play was designed for him to keep going to the perimeter over here. But he stops and sets his feet. Why? Because he was reading the safety that we can't see in the picture right now, and that safety backpedaled and did not move with the quarterback. So as he moved here, the, the safety stayed here. So he's got a receiver running right here that is splitting the safety in the corner down at the edge of the screen right here. That's going to come into picture. And what I really like is that he's going to set his feet He's going to push off of his back leg. He's going to load the ball with his shoulder, and he's going to throw a 30-yard strike on a flat line that is not, diff is not very easy to do. In fact, it's going to show his arm strength. So look at that ball. That's a pause. That ball was a flat line, and he threw that ball in between the safety and this corner down over here. And that had to be a perfect throw. And he did that from a running position, set his feet, and got that ball off on a line. 30 yards. That's Throw, impressive. Frozen rope. Okay, and our last play, Coach. You know, when you're evaluating a kid who plays at, say, a school like La Jolla Country Day, is that a tough evaluation? Because the competition is not always the competition he's going to be playing at at the next level. In fact, it never is. So how do you evaluate yeah. a kid like this? So it's going to make it more difficult, but but the intangibles of a quarterback are the intangibles of a quarterback. Can he, can he make all the throws? Is he agile in the pocket? Um, in Arizona looking for a guy that's a dual threat. Can he beat you with his legs as well as his run, as well as, as, well as his arm? And you can see that um, without a football field out there. You can see that in just his cuts, his change of direction, his ability to make all those throws. He can do all that, which made it easy for Arizona to do it. And what I picked this third play for, so we saw him beat you with his feet. We saw the flat throw, the quick setup. Um, and now we're going to see what I think is a – classic example of an easy, comfortable uh, roof ball, a ball that's going to go up and over the top, throwing deep. Let's just let's see the, the effortlessness with which he's able to do this. Let's go ahead and start it. And let's pause. All right, so he's got good feet. He sets up well. He's balanced well. The ball is held in the right position. He's going to go ahead and load the arm up and throw. But what I like about the throw right now is, one, it's thrown on time, and two, just, just look at how easy his mechanics are. Watch, just watch. 
No effort. No effort. The ball's on the money. It's thrown with air where only the receiver can catch it. You know, we watch it again right now. That's no effort. No force whatsoever. And he threw the ball 40 yards with no force. You talk about Salazar. They, they just look the part in the pocket. Yeah. They just look like quarterbacks. God, it pertains to Burmeister too, doesn't he? He just looks comfortable. You can, on yeah. this play, he started by looking off the safety, looked the other way first. Little subtle things that not every quarterback has. Yeah, and and I and one thing we didn't get a chance to talk about, but I know he's got this too. You know, so he's got the mind, he's got the arm, he's got the feet. He can make all the throws. He's going to put you in the right call. I'm sure he's a very very bright, intelligent young man. And uh, Arizona, how could they go wrong? All right, that's Carol's corner. We'll see you next week.